Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be bringing you the 32nd episode of me testing different day trading strategies to see what is actually profitable. I will be testing this buy and sell indicator that will apparently make you rich. This strategy was published by the YouTube channel Kryptonium and the creator does say that this works perfectly well on the Bitcoin five minute and one minute timeframes. He actually did mention that the strategy does get over an 80% win rate, which is pretty unrealistic. So let's find out the true win rate for this strategy by backtesting it 100 different times to see how profitable it really is. Also, I will be improving this strategy towards the end of the video, so make sure you do stay tuned and do not miss that. If you would like to also trade alongside myself, I post every trade that I do make in my Discord down below. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $250 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, we are currently looking at the Bitcoin USDT pair on the five minute time frame. And now let's go ahead and actually build our strategy. So in order to find our first indicator, we need to type in black flag and it is this one here, swing arm ATR trend indicator by VSNFND. Now, if we do select this, we actually need to come across and make a few changes to the style settings. Now in this, we are gonna be removing everything but the plots background. So we'll scroll down here and that is all we do need to remove and then also we need to come across the inputs and change our ATR factor from 5 to 6. So this indicator will service as a filter. Generally if the plots are colored in green this is an indication of an uptrend. This also does mean that we're only going to be looking to buy during this time and if the plots are colored in red then this is a signal that we are in a downtrend. So this means we are only gonna be looking to sell during this time. Okay, now let's add the second indicator to the chart. And this tool is called Signal Table, which is this one here by Only Fibonacci. We also do need to adjust its settings. So over here, come to the style section and actually remove the table. And based on this indicator, we are gonna be placing buy and sell orders. Every time the green line crosses the red line upwards, this is a signal to buy. And when the green line crosses the red line downwards, this is a signal to sell. All right, now let's understand the exact rules for this strategy. So for a long trade, we only need to have two conditions met. First, the black flag indicator must be green color. Second, we need to have a new bullish signal issued by the signal table indicator. The stop loss for this strategy will be set at the recent swing low. The profit target will be set at 1.5 times the risk. As we can see, this strategy is super simple to use. By the way, this is a basic version of this strategy. The creator also did mention that there is an advanced version that can apparently achieve a 100% win rate, which I do highly doubt. But that particular strategy does not actually have a fixed risk to reward ratio. You basically just use these moving averages as an exit indicator. So for an exit signal to be valid, the price action must actually close below both of our moving averages. Sometimes this approach can be really effective when the market is actually trending it's mainly because you are giving yourself a really good chance to catch a massive move towards the upside or also towards the downside however when the market is actually ranging this strategy does not play out very well for that strategy if we did enter that by the time we actually did manage to exit the market we would have returned around 0.59 percent so as we can see the risk to reward ratio is actually negative for that strategy you do also need to be using support and resistance lines as well as trend lines if you do want to get more details on the advanced strategy you can check out the other video but as i did say we are going to back test this strategy and then we are going to improve it towards the end of the video. Okay, now let's understand the short positions. So a short condition is valid when we have two conditions met. First, the cloud must be red colored. Second, we do need to have a bearish cross on our moving averages. The stop loss will be set there just above our previous swing high. And as I did mention in the long examples, we are gonna be targeting 1.5 risk to reward ratio. So just by looking at the chart, we can see that this strategy does issue fairly accurate signals. As you can see, we've got another short trade here up towards your previous swing high and targeting 1.5 times the risk. There you go, another example of a nice trade. We 
know that we do need to actually backtest this strategy over 100 different trades to see if it is profitable or not. So let's actually start our backtesting. All right, so the back testing is finished and the results are definitely not what the creator said that they were. We did actually manage to get a 49% win rate with a PNL of 52% profit, which is fairly average. We did manage to gain 52% on our account, so it is a profitable strategy. It is making money. However, the profit factor is only sitting at around 1.44, and we did manage to get five consecutive wins against six consecutive losses. We also did actually manage to have a max drawdown of 11.42%, which isn't that bad, as long as you do stay consistent with your risk per trade. So yeah, overall, as I said, this strategy is fairly average. I wouldn't really use it for scalping on a day-to-day -day basis. It is definitely worth looking at. You can test it on different time frames and so on, just to see how well it does perform there. Okay, now I will actually try to make this strategy better. So after hours of going through, testing different lengths, testing different factors on different indicators, and also just different indicators in general, we have actually come up with a pretty interesting strategy. So what I basically did first was get rid of our previous moving averages, mainly because that indicator does actually issue a lot of false signals. Instead of it, we are gonna be using our UT bot alert and in the input sections, you are actually gonna make a few changes. You're gonna change our key value here to three and our ATR period to five. You will also need to come across and change your settings on the black flag indicator. All you do need to change is your ATR factor to 12. And to triple confirm the entry, we have actually added our historical volatility percentile. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's actually jump into the trading rules. So a long entry is confirmed only when we do have these conditions met. First, the UT bot indicator does need to issue a new buy signal. Second, the price action does need to close above our cloud and also the cloud does need to be colored in green. Third, the volatility bar does need to break above our moving average, and it does need to be colored in either yellow, orange, or red. This means that we are only going to be taking trades when there is either a medium or high level of volume in the market. When the volatility is low, we will not be entering any trades. When we have all three of these conditions met, we can safely enter a long position on our candle close. Our stop loss will be set at our previous swing low, and we are going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk. Right away, we can see that this strategy is quite a bit safer because we do actually have more requirements to be met. And this does lead to actually only taking high quality trades. But I must admit, this strategy does not issue a lot of signals. So you are going to have to be patient and wait for a good opportunity. By the way, if the volatility indicator hasn't caught up by the time that the UT bot alert does issue a buy signal, you can wait another candlestick for it to catch up. In this case, we can see that all the indicators are lined up properly. Okay, now let's understand the sell position. So first, the UT bot alert does need to issue a new sell signal. The price action does need to close below our cloud and the cloud also does need to be colored in red. And finally, the bar on our volatility percentile indicator does need to break above our moving average and it either needs to be colored in yellow, orange or red. A sell order will be placed on the close of our trigger candlestick and we will be bringing our stop loss there up towards that previous swing high and we are going to be targeting 1.5 times the risk. And again, if the price action is closed inside the cloud, we are just going to skip this trade. All right, let me give you one more example. Here we see our indicator did issue a new sell signal. The price action is below the cloud and the cloud is a red color. However, the volatility percentile indicator has not caught up yet. We just waited for one more candlestick and as we can see, our conditions are met. Okay, traders, I hope you have understood the rules for this strategy. I will now go ahead and backtest this again to see what sort of...
Okay, our back testing is now complete and our results are a good bit better. We did actually manage to return a 68% win rate with a 291% net profit. Our profit factor was sitting at around 3.19%. Our max consecutive wins was 10 against our max consecutive losses, which was only three. So yeah, this is definitely great results for a five minute scalping strategy. You can definitely give it a try on the one minute time frame as well, but make sure you do proper back testing and proper forward testing before actually using it live. Okay, thank you traders for watching this video. I hope you did find it useful. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.